what do you know two videos in one day it's crazy it's insane it's wow who would have thought anyway it's been a while since i've had two videos in one day so it's still saturday april 19 2014 and i just can't resist i'm gonna break out the vht roll bar and chassis paint here um it's about uh, it's 8 45 so I i'm just gonna do it i just can't resist this paint Use this paint. This is the same exact paint I used on the YZ125 build. Um, I like it a lot. Um, you know, if you use it, you'll see why you, you know, why I do like it. It just goes on so smooth. So we're gonna shake it up a little bit. All right, and it's just, it just goes on super smooth. Now your first coat, you're just gonna wanna get kind of like a, a base coat there. Again, holding it 10 to 12 inches away. We're just kind of barely covering everything. Just enough to get it a little bit sticky. And I didn't sweep the floor. Um, I still have all the, uh, still have the cars outside, motorcycle, anything you do not want to get any overspray on it. Let me move the camera so you can see what I'm painting now. There we go. And by the time I get through this whole frame, I should be able to go back over it and put another light coat on there. We'll just let this build up lightly. Now the only bad thing about me doing this this evening, I don't know if this one can is going to be enough. And that's probably not a good thing. Because you really... For this base coat, you really want to get it all in the same day, in a few hours. Um, but I'm just too excited. So hopefully, this will be enough to do this. Because basically, I'm, I'm probably going to put this coat on, or a couple coats, and then I'll just uh, clear it. And hopefully, I'll just put more clear on. Because really, the base coat, I mean, it's black, but the the more you get, the darker it's going to be, but I just want it to be black. I don't care how black it is. Um, but, you know, we'll clear it. Maybe we'll clear it. Yeah, we'll probably clear it. I think we cleared the YMC 125. I don't remember. So I'm just kind of getting the whole thing. And that's just kind of how I do it, so don't hold the hand upside down. And I don't think this is going to be enough, but, and I don't believe the auto parts store is open. They used to stay open until midnight, but I think due to lack of interest, they, they kind of stopped. So. Anyway, I'm going to keep on doing this. Once this coat's complete, uh, we'll show you the next coat. Okay, we are back. Um, yeah, this is not going to be enough. So, may not get to finish this video tonight, but this kind of base coat here is done. So, the next coat, what I like to do, this stuff is super smooth, especially if you got a can that has some in it, but I like to go a little slower, and I'll show you again about 10. 12 inches away, we'll start over here. See that nice finish there? Yeah, you see it almost out. Almost get like a... Let me see. Yeah. See if we can get this to focus. See, you've almost already got like a clear coat looking finish. I do kind of two somewhat heavy coats like that. And that'll be enough. Then we'll clear coat it. So I'm gonna try to get as much out of this can as I can. I may uh, may run to the auto parts store for still open. Actually, I'm gonna look on my phone right now. If they are, then I'll run there and uh, we'll finish this up tonight. So stay tuned. Okay, as luck would have it, the Advanced Auto and Auto Zone, five minutes from my house, are closed. It's uh, nine o'clock, but. On a bright note, it's one about a half hour away. Yeah, it's only about 15 miles, but it's about a half hour. 
um, for travel. Um, they are open till 11. So uh, I'm gonna go there. I haven't called them. I'm afraid if I call them, I'm gonna jinx it. They may close early for Easter Sunday, let the guys go home early. I don't think so, but I'm afraid if I call them, I'll jinx it. So I'm not gonna call them. I'm just gonna make the trip. I know that sounds crazy. That's what I'm gonna do. So we shall return maybe about 10 o'clock. And we're going to finish this thing up tonight, hopefully. We get the paint we will. If not, then we'll have to do it probably Monday, because I doubt they're open tomorrow. So, once again, stay tuned. We are back. It's 9.50 on the nose. Ended up picking up two cans of the uh, Magic uh, Formula here. So we're going to go ahead and uh, continue spraying. Again, uh, let's get you down here. There we go. So we're gonna put on a couple heavy coats until we get uh, it's almost like a uh, like a pool of it almost. We just kind of want it to pull up on the top, the nice finish. And notice I'm more of a what this is what I like to do is more of a solid stream, whereas with the 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 base coat it was more of shoot 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 or you know uh, that kind of thing so this is more of a you know a solid stream not really stopping much on each part so we're going to go ahead and get this coat on we'll see how it looks and then we'll come back okay it is uh, 10 01 so uh, 11 minutes later and we are done I've got one little area of concern right here. I don't know if it's gonna show up. I don't think it is. There is a small run right there. Um, that is a chance you take when you put it on a little heavy. But I'm gonna let this dry overnight, see if that kind of goes away. It's already gone away some. You can't even see it in the camera. Maybe if I get, yeah, you can kind of see it there. Um, but uh, got everything done. It's all nice and painted. It looks all nice and new. Look at that. <clears throat> Everything all nice and shiny. May put clear coat, may not. Probably won't. I don't know. It's not perfect, but uh, looks really good, in my opinion. It's not meant to be perfect. It's cafe. So, and I've got... Okay, I had a run here. That went away um, completely. So that's a loop, a uh, hoop rather, that I welded in. Looks all one solid piece. I even welded the bottom in because if you remember the videos last year, there's like a little gusset here and welded that in to make it look like it was originally there. There's a little, little hole right there. I don't know if you catch that on film, but it's, uh, that's what you get for a 10 minute paint job there. So it should dry pretty nicely. We'll see how it looks tomorrow. Uh, I'm not sure if I'll work on it more tomorrow. I want to do some stuff to the BMW actually tomorrow. So uh, got this newfound energy this year since I got that gallbladder leaked out. EPA. Uh, only thing stopping me now is uh, time. Really, work is uh, pretty crazy. And I did have one place I thought there was another run right here yeah you can see that one right there so two runs this one is almost all the way flattened out so i think that'll be fine that one i don't even care about that's on the inside but again it's the vht paint same thing i use on the yz125 we'll see how uh we'll see how it looks in the morning it will dull up a bit because it's just gloss it's not uh or actually no it shouldn't it, it'll dull a little bit, it's just gloss, it's not a high gloss, just a regular gloss. Put you back in the tripod there. Um, but I think it's gonna, uh, I think it's gonna look good. And then, uh, I don't know if we'll maybe if tomorrow, depends on how the BMW goes, might work on those forks. Uh, but still, I don't have an upper triple clamp or a lower one. I think I showed you the other day the other clamp, the lower has a little uh, knob missing that's gonna cause me some headache. 
So I don't know. And then we'll start on the motor. The motor is, uh, I did move it from the toolbox to this uh, temporary table that I'm going to throw away when I'm done. But uh, we got to get cracking on that thing. Slap that in there. You know, forks. Got to do the rear swing arm. Maybe I'll do that tomorrow. I do have to sand that down and paint it. Same deal with that. Wherever I put it. I'll get another jacket. We'll get it later. But so I'm going to go in and get this paint off my hands. This is uh, one downfall to having it like that. When I lift it up, I did get some paint um, on my hands. So it's no big deal. It comes off pretty easily. That is what I did there. Held it up. And that's what caused that. It's pretty much dry now. And it's, uh, you can touch it. I mean, it's a little tacky, but not enough to put a fingerprint in. So, dries pretty quick. But we'll probably let that sit uh, maybe a week or so, at least. That's what I did last time. It seemed to work out real nice. Um, you know, I can see some little nicks and stuff. This is just imperfections when the sanding up here. There's a couple little nicks. But I don't really, you know, I was going to focus on that, but I don't really care about that because this, these older bikes, the original welds are, are horrible. I mean, they're, they're pretty bad. So me making mine, trying to make mine perfect, you know, what's, what's the point unless I grind them all down? I'm not doing that. So we just want it to look, uh, you know, like a garage door, pretty much. Not like a 250F. That looked like it was, uh, I was pretty proud of that one. But uh, this one, hopefully, I'll be proud of as well. We'll see. Um, again, I'll probably sell it and stuff. I don't know. We'll see. We'll see how it goes. And so it's titled and everything. So uh, might ride it a little bit, get some tags put on it, and uh, maybe do some GoPro videos. Actually, I might do that. It'd be nice. Um, we'll see. But uh, it's going to do it for this one. If you have any questions or comments, post those below, subscribe, and thanks for watching.